surely it's... Yes, this is the game I think it is. A prize every time. It's free. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, this is an Apple game. Okay. You are about to embark on an incredible journey. I don't know, I, I want to go, like, harder, harder? Are you kidding? I can actually shake the Ferris wheel? Oh, wow. Hey, mommy, make it stop! It's free, it's free. I wish they installed a seat in here. I can't... Pay no attention to that harlotin in the purple robe. Hey, quit pushing! Beware of geeks bearing gifts. 100 tickets for only 49 bucks. You know, I wonder, did these guys in any way inspire what became of the later Sierra games? Because Easter eggs were huge with Sierra, if I remember right. Come a little closer. Don't be afraid, step right up. Welcome, stranger. I am the ingenious Dr. Quandry, the quintessential quiz master. It's your lucky day. I'm offering you a free game of Troggle Shoot. If you win, I will give you a choice of one of these fine dolls. Did I say dolls? I meant to say lifelike action figures. See the Troggle Mark target? Shoot as many of them as you can, as fast as you can. can fire, commence firing when you are ready. Now, I, I don't really believe in shooting Troggles. Um, I, I consider myself a bit more of a pacifist. Um, yeah, I'm not going to hit your Troggles. That, that, that'd just be mean to them. I mean, do you know, like, what they go through on a daily basis? They have to put up with that number muncher dude. And, I mean, even if they're dealing with that number muncher dude, sometimes all they're doing is just cleaning up numbers. They're just cleaning up the space right behind him. Or trying to fill in the numbers that he's removed. Um, oh, if you miss everything it does, pick easy mode. Um, but yeah, sometimes, like, as they're cleaning up all these numbers, uh, it'll just... And a uh, muncher will come up, I'm sorry, a troggle will come up right behind him and eat the troggle. So, okay, but fine. We'll do the hard mode. Oh, shoot. I forgot, these actually take some tire time to fire. Um, well, that sucks. Man. I wanted to get like a high score so I can... Oh! Shooting the ones in the middle row takes more time. Okay. Yeah, if this increases the difficulty, then by all means. Um, oops, what we missed. It makes sense though if you like miss all the shots, it'll put you into easy mode. Oh, good enough. Congratulations, you win. Before you choose a prize, I must warn you. The prize you choose will have a dramatic effect on your future. I'm not gonna lie, when I first played this game, I didn't buy any of that. Um, I just 
like picked one based on how it looked. Um, in fact, sometimes you'd swear they were alive. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you about them. This is beginner. It's harmless, mostly. This is Odin Harry. A nice middle of the road, mellow fellow. And this is D Fecult. It can be a real pain in the posterior. So I'm not gonna lie, like, I didn't understand the names. Um, I didn't really get what was going on here with, like, the selection thing. It was just... I got tired of him talking, and so I just, like, lost track of what the names meant, and, um, you know, I just picked one based on, like, what it looked like. And, um, honestly, of these, I don't know. Like, the one on the right looks like something's not gone right with that doll. And the one on the left kind of looks like its head is kind of, like, sticking up and on fire and stuff. So I think, like, my first playthrough through the game, I picked, um, D. Fecult. And he even gives you this warning about something being challenging, and I'm like, uh, I don't even know what you're saying. Yeah, it was... They could have done a better job indicating that this is a huge decision that you're making. Um, Alright, so we took Beginner. Ah! Okay. Well, good game, guys. Meanwhile, far out at sea. I'm gonna refill my water. <laughs> what happened to the carnival? Oh. All right, so yeah, perhaps um, that would have been a more obvious connection to make. Um, I don't know, if he didn't spend so much time talking, uh, he could have said things easier. Yeah, that's a lot of color. Wow! It's the proverbial message in a bottle. Dear sucker, ah, you have fallen into my trap. I have implanted your mind into the body of the doll and transported you to my secret island. Unless you can solve all my puzzles and meet all my challenges, you'll never see your body again. You'll be a real nobody. Get it? Nobody. Ha 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 ha. Yours tr yours cutely, Dr. Quandry. Ock. Alright, we got a bag. It's a token bag. Is this a recycling thing? Dr. Q oh, right, right, right. Gather all the ingredients, find a really big pot, dump everything in, heat it up till it's so hot that you can't drink it. Drink it. Yeah, I remember, like, I failed this game on so many occasions, um, in part because making the recipe was kind of hard or something. All right. Only one thing to do. Hit the trail in search of Dr. Quandry's puzzles. Yeah, this looks very much like Sierra Games. Sup, person? You're a real cutie. Huh. <laughs> Just actually stuck in the bo- yeah. Keep it on the QT. By the way, you're on. On stage! Break a leg! Oh man, the best game ever. 
Welcome to the Notorium. I'm your host, Louis Saxmo Headstrong. We will not perform a piece I call the Headstrong Hop. As I blow notes, my partner will do a little jumping bump and push the notes onto the staff above. And a one, and a two. Um, well, there's a point to this somewhere. I don't understand. Oh, do I have to fill these in reverse order? I don't get it. Apparently. Oh, I have to line myself vertically with the thing I'm trying to hit. I get it. Okay, so that's why I have to fill in reverse orders, because I'm doing it backward. Because, like, I have to hit these exactly vertically aligned with where they need to go. Um, that's my problem. Alright, let's step left a bit. Yeah, we made it! You obviously rose to the occasion. Ha! Huh. And we get a rose because we rose to the occasion. Okay. Man, it's a good thing I did this on easy mode. Alright, let's go over here. Probably get the shaft. What the heck, I'm not afraid of the... Oh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Alright, my eyes are adjusting. I have no idea where I'm going. But if I get lost, I can always run away. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna actually elect to run away if I can. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can get a flashlight or something. Quandary here. You have quite a problem. It's a case of waxy buildup. I challenge you to rebuild this candle. Okay. So we put the triangle down there. Um parallelogram up here. Uh, the square probably goes here. Something, something. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Well, no. I don't know that yet. Um, I hope this isn't pixel perfect. Oh, this might require greater than precision than I uh, put in. Alright, so let's put this down here again. Um, and then move this down a touch. Maybe this one has to go down here. That doesn't quite work. 
try that. Man. These Tangram puzzles never get old with game developers. But they get old with players very quickly. Uh, I'd have to turn this about. No, there's only one way that could be oriented, assuming it's done that way. It could just be the two triangles. But supposing that's constructed as triangles, um, I mean, these triangles could go anywhere. You could stick them down here. Um, it just doesn't seem like that overlaps correctly. It'll work. Okay. It seems like this has to go down here. You have to line it up right. Um, I still think these triangles have got to go down here-ish. Let's stick these back in these original orientations. Um, oh, one thing I didn't try is sticking this here first. Um, and then this on the left. And then our square up here, however we want to rotate that. And triangle here. Uh, triangle there. Yeah! Cool. A tax collector. Yeah, we get to play Tax Factor. Alright. High score wins. Are you ready? Alright. Isn't Tax Factor the best game? So then we take the 9, and all he gets is the 3. His 3 divides into 9. And then... Um... Then I guess we take the six, and he takes the two. Um, we take the eight, and he gets the four. We take the ten, he gets the five. And then he gets the remaining prime number. Yeah, so... I only took, like, a playthrough or two to master that game. Uh... CD. Boston Bops plays the Beach Boys. Wait, do I not get to... Oh, right, we actually get to play this. Um, you can take as many as you want from the same row. Um, Alright, so... We're going to... For laughs... Take all the CDs out of the bottom row. Yeah, it's like totally your turn. Alright, now I go. Now you go. Alright. Now you take the last CD. Now there's a better way to play that game, but... Um... Now you have to listen to We Are Family by the Jacksons. Sucks for you. Beach closed until he says so. Alright, let's go. Off limits. Hey, it's the really big pot. Oh man. Just look at that. Two, 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 two. Um, nothing's happening. Well, fine. A oh, man. Fine. So we'll have to actually collect all the items first.
I think in the more difficult levels, you actually have to solve um, the recipe and uh, mix things in the right um, quantities in order to be able to escape. I wonder if I could swim back home. What, you're not going to try it? You're just going to wonder. Fine. Be that way. Um, Alright, so... This down here... If I remember right, this is an action game. Let's make a door. Oh. This is not the action game itself. This looks very much not like an action game. Okay. Um... Might surprise you that I don't remember how to do this one. I used to have a set of these tiles, though. So these puzzles aren't that hard. Hey look, it's a hangman. Or a stocking man, or whatever you want to call this dude. Sir Edmund Pillory. Help him escape. Ah, can I use the numlock key? Not in this program. You must guess the combination to the padlock. Or what, he gets executed? There's exactly two digits. You will wink left if one of the digits is correct. And a wide-eyed smile if it's in the right place. You get ten tries. Alright. Your guess. 69. Nope. Your guess. 12. Nope. Your guess. 70. Your guess. 34. Um. Okay. Well, that leaves 58. Yeah! That was so easy! Yay! His prized possession. A paperweight that holds a lock of hair from Elvis. No, that was just pure logic. There's no guessing there. You just have to rig it by putting in those first four numbers. And then it's just auto- oh. I forgot about this game. Um, yeah. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Wait, can I not pick this up? Yeah, and then load the catapult. Um, needs more. Alright, let's increase the oomph. And fire! Too much oomph. Alright, three oomph. How about three oomph? Is three good? I don't know if I'm supposed to be like hitting these fly things. Hmm. 
It seemed to have caught the attention of the fly. Um... Yeah, we're gonna get this eventually. Maybe. Here, I'm gonna hit the dinosaur thing if I can. Apparently that doesn't count for anything. Um... Of course, of course. Yeah, you know, let's just go walk on right up and see what... That's one mean-looking bird. Yeah, let's take care of that bird. Wow, bird doesn't even care that I hit it. Oh, there's a flag that shows the wind direction. Okay. That's useful. Oh, too far. All right. I missed. Back in the days when computer games didn't have any hints. I don't even know if that counted for anything. Um, I don't think so. Oops, I missed. I think I have to shoot with force of four to actually get it get the fly into the frog. Alright, so then we have to feed the dinosaur off to the right. Can we just go? Yuck! Gooey frog's eggs! All right, into the pocket they go. Oh, and apparently that dinosaur thing doesn't want to eat me anymore, so that's good. All right, monkey. You can't fool me with your games. Uh, ape the ape. One. One drop you can do, but can you do two? All right, now it's your turn. One drop, and then one drop. All right, you've done two. How does three sound to you? Oh man, this game, this game is so hard. I, I, I just don't know if I can keep up with this. Ooh, three times is easy. Does four make you queasy? One. One. Five. Ooh, I don't know. One. 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 
one, oh, five. Okay, we'll see when the number is five. It's one, 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 five, one. I don't know, this seems really difficult. Like, I don't know, having the patience for this is pretty challenging. Oh, I have aped the ape. And one, a tin cup full of gobbledygoo. Probably would have been easier to just beat the stuffing out of the ape than to play his game. But, you know. Ooh, the secret island dump. Can we get the correct other pull? Yeah, I'm not sure which one's the correct other pull, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the one under the tree, of course. Um... Oh, there's actually a turn limit on this. this priceless antique motor oil can. Well, fine. Guess I'll take it. <sighs> okay. So, what challenges have we missed this far? My. What a lovely little beach. Okay. And they could work on some of this pathfinding stuff. Uh, turn back. Skip ahead. Let's see, I don't think I've done this um, challenge yet. Yeah, this one just destroyed me on difficult mode so badly. The acid test. Do you quiver? Do you quake? Are you queasy? Oh, quaint. Um... Oh! As soon as you make a move, it's open season on dolls. Oops. Well, that was fun. Wait, can I never get this whole game using the arrow keys? Yes. Oh, I have to... Whee! Close enough. Oops. Kaboom! Well, that hurts. I mean, I got the flask. I just happened to suffer a little bit along the way. Um... Wait, can I not collect... Okay, I collected whatever that was there. Um... Can we go left? I'll just skip the tax, dude. There's a day-night cycle in this game. Man, does that mean I have to like wait 12 hours to get to the next challenge? Nah, of course it doesn't, but I'm just... There was that cave. I want to find my way back to the cave somehow. Well, we're certainly on an island. The fact that this is an island has been established. Um...
Back to the cave we go. Oh, I can navigate this with the arrow keys. Yeah, let's arrow our way around this. I don't suppose there's an exit this way, right? Nope, no exit there. Just follow the edge. Oops. I did not mean to exit. Um. Here we are. What's this green gunk on my shirt? It's either moss or bat guano. Either way, it looks delicious. Oh. Okay, so... What else is there? Ah, another stupid tangram th I mean, another puzzle. Okay. Let's see if we can do this one. Now, if we assume these are all in the right orientation, um... I guess it's my fault for selecting beginner. That one's on me. But yeah. One game I preferred to this was um, The Castle of Dr. Brain. It features many logic puzzles and not so many dis dexterity puzzles. Oh, was there nothing there for me? Did I just complete that for the sake of completing it? Great! Good to see that I did a Tangram puzzle for naught. Okay, well, we're still missing stuff. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure the game lets you know that you got everything. So, it's like deja vu all over again. Um, is there nothing to collect here, though? Do I have to go back into the jungle? Alright. I can't swim my way back. Okay, fine. Um. Okay. Let's skip ahead. As fun as the music puzzle was. Um. All right, we found another beach. There's a map to the right. Well. Um, you mean like to the right with respect to that initial beachfront? Uh, with re respect to the music game? Or, um, I don't know, where should I expect to... I'm not even sure that by the time I find the map that I'll need it. Uh, I'm beginning to think that I'm on an island. It's very perceptive. Oh, when you were in the maze. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, an island map would be kind of cool. Though I think I've explored everywhere that's on the island, for beginner mode anyway. Um, I didn't past this one. In fact, if I go back through this damaged room, do I get the chance to play it again? I don't get a chance. So, I assume I just have the flask, but I got blown up, but that's okay somehow. Uh, 
Um, so we know how to make a door. Beach closed until I say so. Hey, I bet this is the really big pot mentioned on the recipe. Goodies. Um, check your pockets. Let's put all the things in the cauldron. Yeah! ABC gum. Already been chewed. All right. Oh, I do have a map under goodies. Well said. Um, yeah, so we've completed everything except for one exploded destination. I've put everything, including the recipe card, into the cauldron. I should probably look at it first. A padlock, a little tin cup, a tax refund, a tube of sunscreen, a clump of wax, a bucket of water, a can of oil, frog eggs, one red rose, a bottle, a glass of green gas, a bag of tokens. Yeah, except I'm not getting that glass of green gas because it exploded. So I'm just stranded here. Oh no, I do have the bottle. Never mind. Um, doesn't say anything about putting the recipe card in the cauldron. It does want a tax... Oh, wait, no, the tax refund to be the money. Um, not actual paperwork. So I should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 items in the pot. Right, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 items in the pot. Maybe I shouldn't be putting all the items into the pot. <laughs> Alright, so put that back in the pocket. I don't think the gum had to go there either. Um... Look at this. This doesn't ask for gum. Padlock, a cup, tax refund, sunscreen, clump of wax, boil a bucket of water, can of oil, frog eggs, a red rose, a bottle, glass of green gas, and a bag of tokens. Um, so something here didn't match. That's like toothpaste. Um, is this coffee? No, it's a little tin cup, can of oil, bottle, eggs, bucket of water, hair of Elvis in a paperweight. Um, pretty sure there was nothing in the recipe about that. Yes, yeah, so this looks good. Frog eggs, red rose, eh, probably good enough. We'll find out in just a minute. Toot, oomph, oomph, toot, toot. Nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? Whatever. I do not understand. Looks like nothing's happening. What's in my pocket? Check my pockets. Um.
Yeah, no, I don't get it. Surely it's not asking me to dump everything in. Just all these ingredients. Um. Look at. A tube of sunscreen. Oh, wait. This, this did call for sunscreen to be put in there. Um, so let's put the sunscreen in the cauldron. One of these things in the cauldron is not supposed to be in here. Moss, maybe? Tax refund. Glass of green gas. Frog eggs. Um, let's put these back in the pocket. Look at the pocket. Was there anything about cave moss or frog eggs that had to be in here? Frog eggs, yes. Cave moss, no. Alright. Let's try that again. Maybe in beginner mode it's more friendly to you. And doesn't really give you the opportunity to mess this up. Must be ready to drink. Here we go. Slurp. Woo wee. All of a sudden, I don't feel so good. Wait a minute. It's the doll that doesn't feel so good. I'm going back to the carnival. I have defeated Dr. Quandry. Commendable but not superlative.